guy looks like Wally Viola. Oh? Oh my god! You do! Oh, I do look like him! What's been happening this particular season has really kind of brought to head all the controversies around how the show manipulates what you see. Mm -hmm. it, usually it's, you know, very innocuous sort of edits, but this time I think they've actually gone a little too far, which is why I've been making so many of these videos recently to continually show you consistently based off of facts, based off of people that have been to the show, mm -hmm. who have seen what it's really like, based off the contestants who've been writing to us and letting us know what you see on TV is definitely not what really happens. Mm -hmm. So let's jump into some comments around Marcelino. All right, this one is from, can you read that one? One, John, because I can't. Kaleo Pentagast. All right. I think the cooking happened to Jessica Sanchez too. Ah, oh, this is no talent show. It's just another fraud show. All right. So I I noticed this term cooking come up a lot. Um. What does that mean? You tell me, Luda, because. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Filipinos who are constantly saying it. Here's another one, live life. When you realize that Simon is a master chef who, who cooks, cooks AGT. But you know what? It, this is bringing me back what it means, cooking. Cooking is when the contest has already been decided who will win. Something like that. I mean, there's a term of cooking in English language but it has more to do with um, accounting. So there's this whole term around cooking the books, meaning that you are changing the numbers in order to hide what's been happening, like doing some illegal activity. All right, so I did dig a little bit deeper here. Someone actually did leave a comment about this. So thank you, who tried to describe what this means. And this person says, how to look it up as well. And this person was born in the Philippines and can speak Tagalog. Apparently comes from the Tagalog word luto. Yes, which luto. literally means cooking, cooking, or cooked, but is used colloquially, co co collo colloquially, <laughs> to describe something that's rigged, particularly contests. Oh, was that right? Well, you, <laughs> you weren't fully wrong. I'll give you that. <laughs> oh, I remember it. All right, so I actually like that word. Someone's cooking. <laughs> Agt. <laughs> Cooking or cooked? So I mean the chef. Cooked or Cook. cooking? I mean, people are using it both ways here, so. Uh, here comes from Brian L. I see the future. Your channel will be deleted. <laughs> Thank you for the exposed. Uh, uh, thanks, Brian. <laughs> Brian, why such a hater? <laughs> I don't think he's hating. I think he's sharing concern that uh, because our expose is bringing down a big company, uh -oh. that uh, they might come and copyright claim, block, delete our channel. Oh, shoot, Brian, we're going to be homeless. So that makes it really, really important that you all go and subscribe our other channel, John X Lulu. <laughs> So go subscribe to that one in case this one gets taken down. That's funny. They could come after us. Absolutely possible. You know, what I've actually even done in our videos is talk directly to AGT. Say, hey, look, you know what? We are your fans. Mm -hmm. And As there a fans, are... this is what our concern Exactly, here. right? Like you can take our advice and realize there is a better way to do it. Bring your fans along with your show rather than take advantage of them. Then I think that's a very different message than trying to expose corruption and bring them down. Because if we actually bring them down, then there's no more AGT and there's nothing left to there's watch. No, exactly. We love to react to all the talents. I know. Right? Otherwise, so... what would I do with you all day, Lulu? <laughs> <laughs> My comment is, well, that's a nice um, name. <laughs> Boy, you need to get a tan. Oh my God. <laughs> what? You, John? You know, I think the problem is, Lulu, is that when I sit next to you, you have a beautiful, natural Filipina tan. I look like a Jansu. <laughs> Jansu. Mm, it's a Chinese ghost. <laughs> I am very pale. <laughs> Uh, I hear you, man. You know what I need Why to do? Why don't you just go just on your go vacation? <laughs> yes. All right, that's go to it. The, go to the pool. Although it's still a little it's chilly still a little here. in Vegas. No, trust me, in the summertime, I get dark because we live in Las Vegas. Here's one for I am Gian. Hi, guys. I appreciate your support for Marcelito. Just a piece of advice. Never sit on a Philippine flag. <laughs> it's actually against the law. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so this He's is so a nice, nice comment. He or she is so nice, Because trust me, Ludek, the other comments about how we're sitting on the flag were very not so nice. Really? Oh, yeah, well, of Aww. course. These are Filipinos. We're very proud of their country. We apologize. And first of all, we didn't really sit on it. Um, it's not even a real flag. It's not even a flag, yo. Although I can understand if it was that scenario, yes, you have a right to be angry, but it's not actually a flag. What it is is, it's actually it's a, a, like a flag. shawl. Like in the winter time here, it gets very cold, so you can actually put it over your shoulders and it has a hoodie on it, right. and it just happens to have a pad on the back that looks like the Philippine flag. So we actually had it draped over the back of our chair, but it was not the flag and we were not sitting on it, so. I thought it was a good idea to support Philippines and Marcelito. No, so I baby. put it right now there. Now you have the whole the nation back. of the Philippines but ready to. On the camera, it looks like we were sitting on it. But no, 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 no. We apologize. I personally apologize for that. Hater. I. <laughs> we were not sitting on it. And that was a gift from John. I love that thing. Jojo, this show is like a mafia, wasting and robbing the real talented people. America got terrible and Simon <laughs> is the mafia boss. <laughs> people are really creative with these derbs. Um, so mafia is something I heard come up a lot too. Is there something in the Filipino language around <laughs> something illegal and the mafia is running? I always thought that it was called like gangsters in the Philippines, like gangs that are illegally running activities oh. on a system-wide level. Yeah, the concept of mafia has come up a lot. So if you're Filipino and you know why that term has been used so often, let me know, it's interesting. America got terrible. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> this guy looks like Wally Bayola. Who's Wally Bayola? <laughs> Time for a Google. I'm already laughing. What the, oh! Oh! Oh my God! You do! Oh, you I do look like him. <laughs> Although he has a very um, nice head, though. What's wrong with my head? And, well, I don't know how to He's very it. clean shaven. Clean. <laughs> yeah, very shiny. All right, so who's this Wally guy? He has a I show think he's called a comedian. Eat Balaga, Bulaga? Eat Bulaga. Oh, wow. He joined Eat Baluga as an off screen gesture host. He does look like a joker. He's, he's a comedian, comedian host he's and comedian. actor. Oh, okay. Hey, I look like someone famous. Hey, Wally. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually have another comment about who I look like. Um, let me see here. They say I look like Perry Choi, who married, I guess, this famous actress named Chris Burnell. All right, I'm looking this up. <laughs> oh, I look at him, look at him. Oh my God. I look nothing like this dude. What are you kidding me? Not... He looks a lot thicker and chunkier. I am much more svelter, but she is pretty hot. Wait, she's pretty. She's very pretty. Baby, I could have done better. The heck? Downstream one, two, three. Simon did not taking a bath for a week. <laughs> That's why you smell like a fart. <laughs> All right, so I, I, there's definitely a lot of Simon hate in our comments ever since we started doing this expose. <laughs> and uh, understandably so, because his name is attached so much to this whole Got Talent franchise. In many ways, even to the entire reality TV competition genre. Right. I, he's he such owns a big a name. Lot. He owns a lot and is on TV a lot. But the one thing I actually do want to clarify is in a lot of our research, I never actually found explicit evidence that ties him to saying something, do this illegally, do this because I can want to manipulate people, right? right? It's always the show producers. It always seems to come back to them. And so I'm always a little hesitant to outright claim Simon is the one telling everyone to do all this. Now, he may be complicit because he just lets it happen. And as the boss, right, if you're a CEO of a company and there's corruption happening among your staff, the CEO usually would get fired because they're the ones who should know better. If you just want to at least take it one step further and say that Simon stinks, and that's why he smells bad, then this is a very clever way of saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn Musico, you are nice investigator guys. Thank you for that. Yeah, I see a lot of these comments as well, which I'm appreciative for, so I wanna say thank you, Glenn. But um, it does actually give me some insight in terms of how I wanna present this kind of information in the future, because I don't wanna be an investigator. Like, I'm not a journalist. <laughs> I'm not here to expose everything out there. I, I just wanna entertain you all, but also enlightening you around how things 
are working and how some of the injustices that are going on out there, especially for these artists, right? Because even though I worked in the entertainment industry, predominantly on the business side of things, I've always felt a connection to the creator. And it's one reason why we're in front of you today because we are creators, we are artists as well. And so it really feels like looking out for fellow artists is the right thing to do. That's right. We just notice something that is not right and we want to use this platform to share that to yeah, everyone. <laughs> exactly. And you know, for me, I didn't want to just do it around conjecture, hearsay, and gossip and rumors. I really wanted to do the oh, research. Oh, John doesn't like gossip. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> he hates that one, especially with me on a phone talking. <laughs> yes, Lily, right, it's Josh. not right. <laughs> Legal action should be brought upon an AGT for deceit falsification and discrepancy on what they claim to be a reality TV show. They have deceived viewers. Ultimate deception. deception. Ooh, that sounds like oh. a new bad guy in the Transformers. She's really mad. Like it's all- All uh, caps, very, yeah. very mad. <laughs> but not only very mad, very eloquent and uses a lot of big words. Big falsification. Words. Deceit. Discrepancy. Mm, ultimate. <laughs> all right, so now, this has actually been brought up a lot, right? Which is, well, why doesn't someone take legal action against AGT? And it's an interesting question because I, honestly, I don't really know how to answer it, which is why I've been trying to avoid <laughs> answer it. I actually want to talk with some legal people who are in the entertainment industry a little bit more before I say anything, but I will try to at least address it in this way. It's hard to know what the legal action is because as a viewer, we're just here to watch TV, right? I don't think they're making claims that like everything on TV is real, right? I think reality TV, everyone just kind of assumes things are staged for drama. That maybe there's legal action that can be done around the fact that AGT is structured around a contest and there are rules in terms of how contests are governed in the United States. And the question is, you know, are they manipulating the results in which it invalidates a fair contest? But other than that, I don't know how to tackle this kind of question. I mean, in reality, in the United States, you could sue anybody and any company for any possible reason. The question is, what's a valid claim, right? And that, I don't know. <laughs> or I'm just making another video that goes into how the contract works with AGT and perhaps some legal people then will chime in and provide some sort of additional commentary in terms of like what recourse these artists have in situations like that. And of course you all, make sure you check out our AGT Exposed series. Playlist link is in the description. And of course, subscribe. Subscribe if you love this type of content. We love showing people the diversity of talent from around the world, the different mm -hmm. cultures and the people and how amazing they are. And, and we wanna do it in a fun way that goes way beyond reaction. So stay tuned for more. I actually wanted to make an announcement about how we're gonna evolve the channel once we get to 100,000 subscribers and uh, yeah, I guess that's coming up sooner than later. Oh. All right, you all. Thank you again. Maraming salamat. Peace out.